All right, guys, Saturday morning. I've been out here, I'd say since about 7.15, 7.20 a.m. Uh, I think it's about somewhere close to 10 o'clock already. This was the biggest nightmare. Uh, I'm a little frustrated. Uh, really, really dumb design. Uh, put a heater core inside the vehicle. You know, I'm used to G-bodies being out, out here on the firewall, for an 80s vehicle anyway. You know, and you pull them from the engine compartment. That way you, you don't get a mess inside your car on your carpet. But, uh, you know, I watched a few videos on YouTube, but some of the stuff was left out. So it's really kind of difficult just to kind of figure out how it comes apart, which is really stupid. Heater core is definitely leaking. And that's pretty gnarly down there. Uh, lots of dirty, grimy buildup in the box, so I just completely took all the box, the vent ducts, everything out, washed them out with the soap, water, and a brush. Got everything really clean. I'm gonna let it all dry before I put it back in there. But just to get the heater core out of the out of the stupid box, uh, there's four screws. You have to actually lift up the the foam sponge to get down to them because this goes together. They're like down in there, one on each side, and then these two you can see plain as day down there. So there's four of those. Then you got to take out these here. But the really dumb part, I thought, was you had to get... Uh, that has to be lined up to come out of there, but you have to pull the pin out uh, to get it out of it. And uh, there's actually a... find a stupid thing. I'm all turned around now. Anyway, there's a vacuum pod uh, actuator that uh, it goes through. That's actually it right there. So this is like this. And vacuum pod actuator comes through this little slot in this metal door. And uh, it actually has this on it, which I broke. So now I get to try to fix that. It's actually attached with the screw, and there's the other piece of it. So I'm going to try to modify something, make something out of steel to make it attach. But uh, it has a pin in it, which I have never seen. And I like to never get the pin out. And that is actually how I broke it, just trying to get the pin out. I mean, that, that was a mother to try to get out of there. But uh, anyway, so I got out, that out, and then you pull this pin out. And it, uh, it allows the top of the box or inside the box, I guess, to come out so you can get to the heater core, which is laying up in here. Tubes come out on this side. But man alive, what a mess. So there's a lot of stuff you got to take apart, uh, and, and I absolutely hated it. But the inside of the truck should smell pretty good now. There's actually... Uh, a few studs you got to take loose now you don't have to take the whole box off the firewall there's one video i watched and the guy did that you do not have to do that uh one guy showed it in his video there's a stud there and there's a stud like right straight down from it and then there's one over and i did it with a couple of extensions and a swivel on a long extension and just went through right here uh, straight on to get it out they're just three nuts uh seven sixteenths or eleven millimeter then there is a 10 millimeter and you get under here you can see the outline of the box here 10 millimeter right here uh, there's a couple of uh, you know you have to take these things off make sure you label those when you take them off so you know which one goes where one's black one's blue but anyway there's a, a control cable that's for your actual slide control for your hot cold uh, this this is an adjustment, so if your slide control is not quite all the way over, that, that's where your adjustment is, is in this slot right here. But uh, there's a little lock clip, if I can find it. A little lock clip right here. I had to reach up in there with these uh, needle nose like that and get a hold of that dude and just kind of kind of walked it back and forth real easy up and got it out of there. But uh, And then there's a... I think it was a seven millimeter headed uh, screw in this but uh, I mean really it, it's kind of silly I'm, I made a mess with antifreeze in here trying to get the heater core out um, 
what I did was I took the the new heater core comes with little plastic caps on the ends of it to keep debris from getting in it from being new in the box I took uh, uh, after I pulled the box back a little bit I reached up in there and popped them caps on there to keep that antifreeze from getting a whole bunch in the truck but anyway so you might do that to keep from making a mess I went ahead and pulled my seat uh, and pulled the carpet uh, because I kind of plan on uh, washing my carpet. I think I'm going to wash it with a scrub brush and tide because I had a little bit of antifreeze uh, that had leaked on down here and you can kind of smell it in the carpet. Uh, so I'm going to wash it. It's pretty thin, uh, so I think it'll dry pretty quick. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to tide and hot water and a scrub brush and then just rinse it with the hose and then I'm going to throw it over the fence, uh, like halfway over the fence so it can drip dry. I kind of wish I'd have bought new carpet. Uh, I don't think the carpet kits for these trucks are very expensive, but anyway, that's how I did mine. Um, quite the pain in the butt, man. There's a show you this real quick too, so you'll know. There's a big long duct that goes all the way to the other side of the dash. It goes to this vent here, and it goes underneath. And it actually has a screw that attaches over there to the to the stuff that you'll have to take loose. But uh, you have to take this panel below the column off because it is attached right here. And I couldn't get it out of there once I took the screw out, so I ended up taking this panel off and let it come right out. That panel right there has to come off. You'll see it. Uh, it's like in between the... Uh, it goes just like that up under there. You'll see it. There's three 8mm headed bolts or screws that you have to take out. Well, I say there was three. I only see two. Anyway, there's a right up above it is a big washered uh, eight millimeter, and you'll have to take it off too because that's uh, that's the defrost ducting up in the truck, and it doesn't come out; it stays in there. So you'll have to take that screw out of that, and then that pops down. This has a little foam seal on it, and half of mine was gone. Uh, you can get the foam seal tape at Walmart, or I'm sorry, Lowe's. Actually, I think Walmart does sell it too. But uh, I'm just going to replace it. So I went ahead and pulled my remnants off and. Gonna replace that. That'll help your uh, vents blow a little harder. All right, so I'm actually gonna. I may have to go to Lowe's. Well, no, there's some right there. I have a whole smorgasbord of rubber and and foam tape and just all kinds of shit in this tote. But uh, actually, I'll use this one right here. Anyway, you can get this at Lowe's, and it's always gray, you know, and it's sticky on one side. Uh, they usually have a whole aisle of it. I think it's for like air conditioning stuff and. Anyway, so I always reseal all my vent ducts up when I restore a G-body or something. And, uh, man, it really makes a difference in the way the fan blows uh, the air harder out to you. Anyway, guys, that is uh, pretty much a heater core on a uh, my 87 GMC uh, Sierra Classic. I'm not... I know these trucks were 73 to 87, but uh, I just don't know what all years that box is. And, and mine is with AC. If you don't have an AC... You know, if it was just a heater truck, uh, you know, non-AC, that it's definitely going to be different. So, I also clamped my hoses with uh, before I took them loose with vice grips, uh, you know, to keep them from losing in a lot of antifreeze out on the ground. I'm actually going to end up having to change my heater hoses though because they're pretty dry rotted. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the heater hoses while I'm at it and be done with it basically. But, Anyway, I definitely recommend you wash your box out when you get it out because mine was gritty, grimy, and green everywhere. And uh, that'll just help prevent it from fogging up your windows when you turn it on, you know. But I'm going to let this stuff dry. I think I'll go in and uh, mess around on the computer for a little bit upload this video.